had a good buddy on my, uh, two episodes ago. Love the guy. I just genuinely love him my worst numbers, yeah. right? And coming out the gate, you don't want no bad numbers, right. right? You're like, I want half a million every episode, right? Right. Yeah, it's like 120. But dude, you told me you had Vitaly on and that just tripped me out. Like uh, you said, he, he's been sober for eight months. Here's the thing. Uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a little biased. I love this kid. Like I want to see Vitaly do great, right? So I had him on my show. He told me he's been sober. We had lots of talks leading up to it. And I, I, look, it's controversial. Sure. But it also makes great podcasts, right? Of course. Everybody hating on him right now also wants to hear it. So it's been a very successful episode. But at the same time, I got to witness, and I think the viewers really did too, a new Vitaly. Eight months sober. The Vitaly we know couldn't sit for an hour, hour and a half and do this. He <laughs> right. couldn't. Right. He would be pooping on your table or doing the helicopter. Or right. He's he's just the craziest human I know, and I tell him that all the time. I mean, <clears throat> isn't it like I mean I I don't know, but I just kind of got this sense that you went PG. That made sure you did the Natural Born Pranksters mm -hmm. movies together, but kind of about that time, like you went your own way. And, and it, it's, it felt like you kind of needed to distance yourself from Vitaly. We definitely went separate ways. Mainly, no reason whatsoever, friendship-wise. Love the right. kid my whole yeah. time I've known him. Love him. It's, uh, it was tough to watch him kind of... I like, think, like before, like the big thing with the arrest, like it was like he, we were watching the wheels fall off and it was tough, you know? And, and it makes sense that you can't fuck with the guy when he's in self-destruct mode. Yeah, I definitely never uh, uh, felt like I left his side in any case, but I certainly like went a different direction. You know, I, I came back to Ohio and filmed yeah. with my kids and right. uh, I couldn't keep up with the, I couldn't party anyway. I was editing every night. Right. I don't remember you ever partying. I couldn't because right. I was uploading every day and I was the editor and the cameraman. So it was like, it was also my excuse not to party and mm -hmm. keep my family strong. It was like 11 o'clock at night, got to edit this video, man. It was like, but <clears throat> it's so, it's so interesting to hear you say that, that vlogging, creating videos, like, and keep my family strong in the same sentence. Right. <laughs> like, right. did, doesn't it, like how much stress does the constant cameras and vlogging, like? I think, I think Brittany and I just talked about this recently. I don't think we went to bed together for almost three years. Because I, mean, because I would edit till 3 a.m. She would get the kids to bed, she would go to sleep. And I would just, I was so dedicated. 100%. To the time I wake up, it's what I'm filming. And right. I also had to try to one up it every day. I, I went as hard as I could. Sure. Um, to the time I just passed out on the couch, couch it, usually while I was uploading. It's not good for your fucking health. <laughs> to, to, Absolutely to, to, destroyed me. You know what's crazy? I didn't know it until I stopped. I right. was like on a snowball. But when right. I stopped, it took me. It really it aged me so hard, man. Well, dude, I, I don't see it, man. You, like, oh, I'm, I'm yeah. furious. I don't know. I'm, I'm working out hard like you did at this yeah. age, bro. I was like, I'm furious with how young you look at 39. It's well, I'll be honest. Area. Brit shaved all the grays off last night. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, they glisten in the light, man. Dude, I, I, that, 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 I, yeah. So I was like, uh, under the hat, it's it's terrible. But I was like, just enough to cover the hat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. As long as you just I got a ton that. of grays, and we're the same age. I think that clip was awesome but not as awesome as my new book, A Hard Kick in the Nuts, What I've Learned from a Lifetime of Terrible Decisions, which is out September 27th, and if you pre-order it right now, you can get the autographed copy. So get on it, man, pre-order my book. It's not gonna waste your time, because I'm proven, dude, New York Times bestseller. My first book's five-star rated on Amazon. And I have no doubt this one will be too. So get the autographed copy right now by pre-ordering it at stevo.com. Yeah, dude.